Sometimes you have to encourage yourself. And sometimes you have to speak victory during the test. No matter how you feel, speak a word and you will be healed. Speak over yourself, encourage yourself in the Lord. Oh, 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 sometimes you have to speak a word over yourself. The pressure is all around, but God is present help. When the enemy, he created walls, but just remember giants, they do fall. Speak over yourself, encourage yourself in the Lord. As I minister to you, I'm gonna minister to myself. See, life can hurt you so till you can feel there's nothing left. No matter how you feel, speak a word and you will be healed. Speak over yourself, encourage yourself in the Lord. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of A Song, A Word, and A Prayer. Okay, so on today's episode, we're going to be talking about the, the, the power of our words and how we should use our words wisely. In the word of God, it says that there is life and death in the tongue. And that's me paraphrasing. But it also says in the word of God, in, in 1 Peter 3 verse 10, it says, Whoever would love life and see good days must keep their tongue from evil and their lips from deceitful speech it says again in colossians 4 verse 6 let your conversation be always full of grace seasoned with salt that so that you may know how to answer everyone again it says in ephesians 4 verse 29 do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs that it may it may benefit those who listen all right so i mean the word of god has extensive you know scriptures on the power of the tongue and how the tongue is hard to tame and we all know this because i believe that in one way or another we've been guilty of using our tongue in a way that would probably displease god nobody's perfect we've all had those moments when we wish we the things we said we could take them back so why do i want to talk about us using our words wisely i strongly believe in positive words having positive outcomes and negative words having negative outcomes and for me i do believe that the words that we say have a huge impact on individuals you never know how negative words can affect the lifespan of a person children if you speak to a child negatively constantly if you say things to them you're stupid you're an idiot you have no use you can do nothing you why why are you so dumb why are you so slow why do you act this way why, you know just negative words just constant negative words it will in fact impact that child i can remember being 
teased um as a child in school or whatever and i believe remembering it now until i'm an adult just shows you how long it stays with an individual and there are things that individuals have said to me in the past that have you know impacted my life in such a way that i have not forgotten about it so for me how can i use my words to uplift people instead of breaking them down Everyone knows that conversations can get out of hand. And a lot of times when we spend time on the phone too much with friends and, you know, family or whatever, we may end up straying into conversation that we really should not end up in. For me, I make a decision. I have to make an intentional decision to stop conversations that are not wholesome. And it doesn't only speak to gossiping. It speaks to conversations that are not upright, that's not pleasing to God. Conversations that may involve sexual discussions with the opposite sex. Conversations that may involve lewdness or just, just simple idle jesting. Talking about your brothers and your sisters for no reason. Those are some of the things that we have to be careful of letting into our spirit and speaking out of our mouth you know the word of god says not what goes into a man that makes him unpure unclean it's what comes out of their mouth if we look back in scripture we can see where the use of words can be extremely powerful let's think about the disciples and how in in acts 3 when we think about disciples going up to the temple and there was a man there begging and they said to him silver and gold have i none but what we have this is what we have and we are commanding you to be healed and so that man was healed and was able able to go and spread the word that he was healed by god and if we think about the the life of jesus and how he used his words as a powerful instrument and the lack of words also as a powerful action during his lifetime here on earth he spoke to the sea and calmed the sea and said peace be still when the disciples were in the midst of a storm and when he was being crucified on the cross he said nothing when he was being accused by many individuals you know he was quiet and I think that this speaks to the importance of knowing when to speak and when not to speak. We all struggle with this. We all find ourselves sometimes in the situation where we are saying things that we shouldn't say, even in uh, whether it's in anger or it is just the wrong time. It's very important that we choose our words wisely when we say them, how we say them, to whom we say them. Time is important or 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 way of bringing it across is important and also whether we should just not say anything at all let's think about the timing of words you know sometimes you can be working in silence and it can be the most powerful thing ever think about the israelites and how they marched around the wall of jericho for seven times and said nothing until that seventh march they shouted a shout of praise and the wall came crumbling down your words should be timed properly it's not not everything that comes right away to you you should say right in that moment i'm an individual who has the personality of saying saying things as it is and i can tell you for a fact that i have been in situations where i have probably snapped at people when i've gotten so passionate or maybe i've been super upset about something that they're doing that is just wrong and i might just snap right there in the moment and that is something that i'm working on with the lord i am not going to front i have that issue sometimes but that is something that will happen to us a lot of times our words may come out quickly forcefully in the wrong moment and that might be seen as harsh or offensive to other individuals the word of god says a soft answer turn it away wrath but grievous words stir up anger or words can cause an individual to either be angry or to act peacefully let's think about our current social climate right now where everybody's so angry about the inequality and injustice that is going on with our race you know black people black americans and even black um you know african americans all over the world who are faced with injustice whether it's in the law or just being treated differently by individuals based on the color of our skins you may end up 
speaking to someone who is very angry about the situation someone who has been hurt by it personally meaning they have had a family member who's probably died at the hands of injustice and or maybe somebody who went to jail when they were innocent or got a longer sentence even though they shouldn't have gotten it and you are now the individual that needs to speak to that person you can either choose to add add gas to that flame and cause them to be even more angry than they already are or you can be the person who speaks peace to them and cause them to calm down and not to be as upset as they are i i also believe in the power of words in our situations in our goals in our daily lives we must speak into being the things that we are asking god for if you are praying to god daily for a new job and then when you speak with your friends you're going to say i'll never get a good job i'll never get a raise in my pay i'll never be able to have kids i'll never get married i'll never get that house that i've been dreaming of i'll never sing the way i want to sing i'll never write a beautiful song like whatever those goals are that you constantly bring to god if you are praying to god for something and then you are speaking to individuals negatively about that that very word can stop you from achieving that goal so it's very important for us to be consistent in what we pray for and how we speak about it even when we're not in prayer right i have learned that as a personal lesson you know when you've waited for a while for something sometimes you tend to say things out of your very lips that may delay it in happening when god really wants it to happen i strongly believe in that so time in your words are important choosing the way how to bring across what you want to say is very important not speaking while we are angry is very important and these are some of the things that we have to work on when we speak about using our words wisely try to use your words to build up individuals and not to break them down if you are someone who has constantly been been the center of gossip or idle jesting or just speaking negatively about your family or your friends try to stop from doing that you know it's not good for you it's not good for your family and it does not please god so let's use our words to lift up each other and not to break each other down let us pray most eternal father i thank you so much that you made it possible for us to live yet another day another day where we can lift up your holy name where we can praise you where we can honor you father as we speak on the topic of using our words wisely i pray that you will continue to give us wisdom in everything that we say wisdom in how we approach situations that god help us to use our words only to build up each other and not to break each other down let there be only positive things that come from our mouths our god let there only be positive things that are spoken to each other our god about each other our god help us to not speak in anger help us not to speak ignorantly help us to use our words our god to give you honor and glory if there's anything that may come to our minds to our hearts that we want to say that does not please you i pray that you'll give us a self-control not to say it our god so that we will not speak these things father we thank you for how you've been helping us to grow for how you continue to bless us our god and we honor you in all we do and we say thank Thanks to you in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of A Song, A Word, and A Prayer. If you haven't subscribed to Breaking Bread with KT yet on YouTube, go ahead and click the link below or follow me on Facebook at Breaking Bread with KT and also on Instagram at ktmusic.inc. I love you, God bless you, and don't forget to do good to all the people you can in all the world. Have a wonderful week.